welcome back to Kitten Up Kitten and today I'm doing a kitten up because you know I love a kitten up um, so I'm going to be kitten up a small diamond painting today there is a reason for that and I will come to that in a second thank you for joining me for this video if you are brand new please consider subscribing I would really appreciate it um, and if you can give the video a like once you are done it would be very much appreciated that's how my channel will continue to grow and um, if you're coming back hello I do have a few kitted up but not as many as I used to have so this one let's go into the reasons why I'm kitting this one up this one is Magical Mama by Mandy Manzano it is a small 42 by 42 centimeter canvas that I have had in my stash since I pretty much started it's unicorns who doesn't love a unicorn um, the reason I'm kitting this up is because I pulled this out couple of months ago maybe even longer because I was going to kit it up and I never did and I've literally been moving this sticker sheet and these drills from place to place to place and it was like do you know what I need some content I need to get a video up I'm going to kit it up today so that is what we are doing this is 34 colours um, I have got a 42 bottle case empty so that's what I'm going to use and I'm using this because I've lost the little small sticker for it um, so what I'll do is I'll pop a sticker on the front of the case just to say what it is um, very very cute little picture beautiful colours looking forward to getting this done so let's get started let's put that away so I am going to need a drill funnel so this is one of my bottle drill funnels and first of all I'm going to label all of my all of my pots up so I'm going to turn my tray round I find it easier to do it this way because that way I can hold my sticker sheet she says and I can put all of my stickers on so that's one one a b and uh, one special drill I've got some cute little pearls to do um, so I've got a little bit of time today so let me catch you up with what's been going on I apologize there have been no lives recently and there has only been one video in the last week um, purely because I have been struggling with fibro and arthritis pain well that's what I thought it was um my currently today let's go into this so if you don't know i have fibromyalgia i also have osteoarthritis um and i also have hashimoto's um so most of the time i've got a level of pain somewhere in my body you know it's not unusual um so the arthritis at the minute is in my hands and my thumb specifically my hand here um which does cause a problem this is why i had to stop doing nails as a living um but my knees have been particularly bad and i know a lot of it is because i am a cleaner you know i am getting up and down off my knees all the time um but i've had some pretty major swelling on specifically my left knee um it's been incredibly painful um on top of that i've also been having some quite bad fatigue so the reason i haven't been filming or doing lives is just because i'm exhausted i'm just really really tired i've been coming home from work literally doing the bare minimum and then going to bed so i just haven't really felt great i'm fine it's part and parcel of having this particular type of fibro you know it, it is what it is but i'm gonna put them to one side because i'll keep them but I'm just gonna keep going um today i am actually going over to my daughter's um going to see my granddaughter but the plan is to do at least two videos today if i can film two videos because i only have three more rows left on firefly to do 
um, so it means that I can I can crack on and get that completed. If I get my filming done now, I can then concentrate on spending the weekend just resting up diamond painting, getting it done. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have to hand a bin, a funnel. This is the round drill funnel. I've got my drills. I've got a pair of scissors. And I also have these very pretty pearls, which I'm going to pop in here now. Um... This is the first special drill that I've ever had in a Diamond Heart Club. And of course, now you get loads of them. But I'm not going to faff about. I'm just going to pull them straight in. So pretty. I don't think you actually even need many of these. I think it's like a couple. But there you go. So they're all in. So that's made that a start. So, because of the way that I was doing things today, I decided to um, I decided to get my orders done and then do a kitten up, um, and then I can do a whip as well. So, have my cup of coffee. If you haven't got a cup of coffee already. Please do. I had a moment that I had to check that I was actually in because I had a moment there where I thought, oh, my God, I forgot to press record. So here is the plan of action. I'm going to put all of these in here. I do have a few extra pots. So the only one that I've got double bags of by the looks of it <coughs> is the 310. So I'm not going to bother labelling my extra pot, but I am going to put all of these away. So here's how you use the drill funnel. The bottle goes in the bottom here. We have got a groove cut out for it. She says it's hard to do it on an angle. So let me put it in. Okay, so there's a groove here for that. You need to make sure it's right at the back, like so. And then we just pull the drills in. It is that simple. Okay, apologies, I had a little coughing session there. Um, yeah, if you've got, because I've just made that mistake, if you've got a bag that's over full, don't fill it all the way up to the top because you'll find it difficult to get your pot out. So that's one, but I do have a second bag. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to fill this one up. And then I'm just going to keep that pot at the back of all my drills because I don't need it I don't need to label it I've only got black which is an extra pot um, you will notice that if you do overfill your pot and you spill some they stay in the back of the funnel which is quite handy um, so yeah if I can get kitten up done today just an added one for a little bit of extra um, three, eight, two, three is that one. Beautiful pastel colours in this one. Um, I do also have, um, I've got a couple of things coming. Um, I have ordered some Art Dot stickers. Anyone who has ordered from my Etsy knows that you get a, a little free gift, which tend to be at the moment because it's cute um tend to be little diamond art art stickers which basically i buy the stickers and i make up like a little kit for each order as a freebie um normally i will buy the stickers and they all come on a sheet um, and I just cut around them to separate them. Um, this time I have actually purchased art dot stickers from Amazon because they are already pre-cut. So I don't need to do that. Um, so I will just like they're just cute. You know, you've got your sticker in a little bag and then you've got your drills in little bags because I sit there and count them all out <laughs> or kind of gauge it. Um, just a cute little idea. So I did order the art dot ones. Um, a because they're they're a little bit better quality, and B because they are individual stickers already. So I've done that, and 
I did also make a purchase, as I said that I would, from Diamond Art Club. Um, that will be here in a couple of days. So first of all, big thank you to the lovely Betsy McCloyd for buying me a coffee um, because that went towards the cost of these two diamond paintings. Um, and yeah, I've got I've got two on the way, which I'm very excited about. Um, one is they are both from new artists to me. Um, they are very different. <laughs> very different um i can't actually remember if they're both square i think they are i didn't do a very good job of that don't demo your own products because you will do it wrong or you will if you're me um yeah both very different diamond paintings um one is one that i purchased to do for my youngest daughter the other one is for me um because, of course, this year is stash building year. Helps if you get the, uh, the right drill. I've just noticed we've got 954 and 955. So, of course, we're going to have some pretty shading going on. But it's not a massively big kit. So, there's not lots of kitting up to do. <clears throat> so, Diamond Art Club order on the way. Um, Amazon order from Art Dot on the way. So thank you, Art Doc, for doing individual stickers because uh, my customers will love them. Um, trying to think what else is going on. Um, we obviously did the competition for the um, 1,000 plus subscribers. So winners have been announced. Please go and check out that video if you haven't already. But I think everybody does know because I did, I did email as well as, um, as well as announce it on a video. Um, so I'm just waiting, waiting for confirmation of what colour the limited edition tray will be for. Um, DIY VP May 24 this year exciting stuff but I also do have possibly what number is that 963 I do possibly have a colour already um, to go up which will be going up very very soon um, there has been a delay because I've obviously got the new product the um, the tray holder to put onto Etsy and the reason I haven't done it already is because I actually need to source boxes and sort out the postage on that but all our orders have been done today so I am now clear so unless somebody orders over the weekend I won't have any orders to do Monday I proper made a hash of that Try not to throw drills everywhere like me. But this all pretty. 317. Um, I am in loungewear. As you can see, I fully intend on staying in said loungewear. Um, I've already, um, like I said, I've done the orders today. I made some stickers up. And the plan was if I get the filming done, if I get this filmed first, then I can get my whip back on the table. I can then film on that as well, which I'll do once I get back from my daughter's. And then rest of the weekend is mine. Hubby is playing golf tomorrow. So I will be diamond painting all day. A little bit of static in there. Not going to worry too much because I'm not going to be doing this anytime soon. Did I say it's around drill painting? May not have done. It is. Look at that static. Do you know what? Let me get the good old, good old dryer sheets out because it'll take two minutes. So let's just. Like, literally, you don't need a lot. I mean, I find that the dryer sheets work very well. I'll pop that in there. Like so. Give it a shake. 
There we go. Better. I know that's not a real word, by the way. 819. Um, so yeah, all told at the minute, it is just a case of me trying to rest this leg. And the prob this is the issue I'm having because it's my knee. It's actually housemaid's knee. Um, if you don't know what that is, look it up. Um, so a good thing for it is rest, elevation, cold packs, and ibuprofen gel, all of which I've been doing. Um but yeah, I'm not great pain-wise at the minute. So it's this hand, this arm, and my left leg. It's not good. And Penny laughed at me earlier because I did speak to her. Um, the lovely Penny at Cowb Sparkles. She laughed because I said I was there last night in bed, crying in pain, stuffing my face at chocolate at the same time. Because chocolate always makes me feel better. Try not to lose too many drills. I am notoriously bad at losing drills when I'm kitting up. Mainly because I'm bloody clumsy. So what have we got here? Okay, five, two hundred. Because you know I don't have enough of those already. Um, so what else can I talk about? Current whips at the moment. So obviously I have my conversion, which is the stained glass Hobbit. Um, but that's a slow, that's a slow grower. Um, I am also working on Firefly Firework, which is Randall Spandler, Spangler, which is the longest painting I've ever done at a whopping 170 centimetres. But I am three rows of cover papers to go seven two seven so yeah i think um hopefully with this weekend and next week isn't quite so busy i haven't got as many friends in next week for nails as i have recently um because like it's juggling everything that's the issue um so hopefully i should be able to get firefly I'm, I'm setting myself a little goal a little target and i'm hoping to get it done by the weekend by next weekend so uh keep track of that let's see what happens i'm just going to empty my little bin into my bigger bin because i did fetch a bigger bin in here Apologies when all you can hear is the rattling of um, of me putting rubbish in the bin. 741. What beautiful colours in this though. Absolutely stunning. I have find, found that having the funnel has made kitting up a bit quicker. Once you get used to it. But I do love the funnel. It is a nice, sturdy, chunky piece of kit. Um, there are a few on the Etsy page. I also need to put on the um, cable tidies as well, um, which I haven't done yet. I love mine. Anyone who's got a ton of devices on the go when they're diamond painting could benefit. 208. But yeah, just to stop me literally moving it, because it's like, to put it back away again, I've got to go upstairs, I've got to get in the wardrobe, I've got to find the kit, then I've got to take the, the canvas out and roll the drills back up in it. I can't be bothered. So it was like, do you know what, I'm just going to kit it up. I'll kit it up, and then it will just sit on the dresser. Seven, six, two... I don't ever need an excuse to get up. Let's face it. Um, it does look like it is Saturday, by the way, for anyone who is interested in knowing. Um, looks like my Diamond Art Club delivery should be arriving by Tuesday. So that will give me a couple of unboxing videos to do. 3706, because I am very aware 
that to keep growing my channel I need to keep posting but it's not always that easy you know Fridays now I do three jobs which doesn't sound a lot you know they're all two hours each but let me tell you six hours of cleaning in a day so let's add it up that is one trying to think how many but I've got my pot stuck it's not a design floor it's a sand floor I can say that right now <laughs> um yeah so three you're talking three six nine living rooms one two three four bathrooms two en suites and three downstairs toilets downstairs cloak rooms it's a lot in a day and having it on a friday last day of the week as well oh it kills me but just got to manage my time better but i haven't even sat down and done any diamond painting this week again um one day hubby will win the lottery and I'll be able to stay at home and diamond paint all day long. With the odd YouTube video kicked in here and there. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I did say to him when I was talking to him yesterday about how bad my leg and that is. He was, I was like, like if I don't rest, I'm going to end up not being able to work. And he was like, oh, I just need to get a job from home then. Oh yeah, genius. What, what job is that then? Don't think there's any availability for someone to sit and kit up diamond paintings for the day and I probably wouldn't enjoy it so much 699 couldn't find that then so yeah as you can hear no no printers going either I've not even been winning them this week I have a bit of stock at the minute so sort of giving them a bit of a rest um, but I shall be continuing with the printing this next week because I want to get this other colour finished so that I can get it up because who doesn't enjoy a new colour tray exciting stuff I think that's about it been trying to catch up on um, Penny's videos. I'm still quite far behind. I'll be honest with you. I don't watch a lot of um, diamond painting on YouTube anymore. Um, mainly because the only time I've been able to do any filming myself, I'm filming myself. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully over this weekend I can do a blitz through. There's quite a few that I need to catch up on. I mean, we, we were talking a oh, bit of static there as well, so we put a bit in this, this pot. Both blue colours, if you've noticed. However, they have gone into the pot easily. I do find the funnel works better for static drills. Give that a bit of a shake around. That'll work its magic now while it's... Uh, while it's drawing itself out so yes hopefully there will be some videos coming up i mean i don't post every day anyway um you know a lot of time it will be a couple of times a week um with the lives at the minute um i've, I've not stopped doing lives um so please don't think i have it has just been unfortunate that i've been quite busy and i've been tired so I'm not going to promise there will be a live this week. We'll see how it goes. Um, I think it's definitely one of those things. I need to play it by ear and just see how I'm feeling. Because um, as much as you guys will say, you know, you don't have to worry about getting dressed. You, you can just, you know, stay in pyjamas. It's not about that. It is literally needing that time and space in the in the quiet you know when i've had a busy day 
I don't want to talk to people. I really don't. I just want to sit down and, and watch crap TV and possibly fall asleep. So please don't take it personally. Um, I have got blood tests on Monday because it could be vitamin D deficiency, it could be iron deficiency that's making me feel worse. But until I get those results back, I won't know. 996. There we go. And luckily, it doesn't take long to do a kit enough, especially when it's a little kit like this. It's quite quick. Um, so I was talking about current whips, weren't I? So I'm working on Firefly Firework. I also have because I got sidetracked I also have Jamil Wisdom which I have started but haven't done any more of because I was focusing on Firefly so that started I also have Corgi Nights from Dreamer Designs um, which was my that was my error with the funnel then by the way um, yeah it's kind of a third done it was my in-car kit um, I don't really now get the time to sit at Starbucks anyway so I've pulled it in here so that needs completing at some point um I also have um a section and a half done of the Snoopy picture <laughs> which I did a section and a half at Christmas haven't touched it since so that's also there waiting needing to be completed I will get round to all of them. But do you remember me saying, I said last year, I'm not going to fret about how many... Oh, look, the 1AB, 138, which is this one. Just got 1AB. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to worry about starting new kits if I feel like it. I'm not even going to worry about kitting up kits if I feel like it. I've got the room. I've got the space. I'm trying to keep it down somewhat because I don't want my unit to be completely full of kitted up kits, but at the minute, it's okay. There we go. That is Magical Mama, all kitted up, ready to go. I've only got the one pot of extras, so that's perfect. So, let me just see if I can find, actually, I don't routinely go rummaging through my bin. But I do know that I've got some offcuts of sticker paper that I threw in here earlier this week. There we go. So let me find a pen and I'm just going to pop a little sticker on it. So it is magical. Mama, and it is 34, one AB, one special, and it is round. Just so I know, just so I know what's in this kit without me having to open it up or guess. Um, I used to stick the small sticker um, on the box, but I now put those on the um, storage but I now put them on the bottom of the box so that when they're stored in the wardrobe I can see what they are so that is it for me that is Magical Mama all kitted up that will now join my kitted up kits and what I need to do is I need to move my tracker because I've done it I think it's one of the yeah it's the first one so not starting it but we kitted it up what's the date i don't even know what the date is today what is the date today it is the third of february so it is oh three oh two twenty four 
so this then moves so this section is my stash section it then moves to be the next in line for my kitted up ones so yeah i've got done decorating needs finishing jamal wisdom corgi nights and firefly fireworks so there we go so thank you for joining me for this little kitten up i do hope you've enjoyed it please feel free to leave me a comment or a smiley face or give the video a like anything which will help me out i will be back very soon with another video it is as always over and out from this kitten up kitten bye bye